structure. This course is structured to meet the needs of individual learners by providing a personalized learning experience. By accessing learners before the beginning of the course, the instructor is able to focus on areas of need to help level up participants in their Canvas skills. The instructor will include a preset list of questions and discussion prompts throughout the lesson. Questions are differentiated to meet the level and need of the learner to help promote metacognitive thinking. Higher order questions, which align with the learning objectives, will be used throughout the lesson. Participants in this training will be asked to respond to questions and discussion prompts as they progress through the training. Since this training is held asynchronously, trainers will be able to view and respond to each of the learner's responses and respond directly to their individual questions. Based on the students' answers and feedback to the course, the instructor will react but making any necessary adjustments to the training to help future participants. Opportunities for retaining will also be provided as long as they're deemed necessary. The action plan. Participants will complete the blended learning 2.0 with the course facilitator. A Google slide presentation will be used to deliver the contents of the course. Students will be exposed to technology that they will need for the second part of this course, which is an asynchronous Canvas module. The, uh, the action plan. As students work through the training Canvas, they will be assessed while they progress through the module. This training does not consist of comprehensive assessment where, when the course is complete. Instead, all assessments ask the student to either create a product or hold a discussion with their peers. Participants will have an opportunity to design products in Canvas, which they will be able to take back and use in their own classrooms. After completing the training, participants will take their knowledge back to their classroom and grade level team. Here, participants will work collaboratively to create quality online instruction for our students. Evaluation report. The instructional effectiveness of the initial training is evident in the above graphs. The goal of this retraining is to move campus staff who are in the apprentice and ninja levels to the next level. With the retraining date quickly approaching, it is our prediction that 90% of the users currently at the apprentice level will progress to the ninja level. This and 75% of the users currently at the ninja level will progress to the master level. This progression of usability in the district's LMS will help our campus develop engaging lessons for both face-to-face -face and virtual learners in all grade levels. The TechBuys team appreciates the opportunity to participate in such a pivotal event and the, the Corpus Christi Independent School District's transition into virtual learning. We believe this training will assist CCISD in achieving their vision, which states every student is a learner, every learner is a graduate, and every graduate is a success. Thank you.